Hey guys, it's Shane. Uh, I'm gonna try to make my first Let's Play doing a Trial Bytes game from the 11th Hour. Our game, called the 11th Hour, rather. Um, I'm gonna play this game back when I was you know, 12 or 13 years old. So, that'll be fun to try to play through again. Here we go, this first video is basically just the intro video and the opening credits and all that fun stuff. Uh, the screen basically to set the brightness and contrast of your monitor to the level that they want. And then you know, just mouse over the eye on the left and click on the X and that'll begin the game. Um, playing this in DOSBox recording using Hypercam. Don't have a lot of experience with Hypercam. Um, so far, it seems to be pretty simple to use. So yeah. I've also slowed the game down quite a bit um, in DOSBox to make it playable. Some of the animations are really fast. Otherwise, using my uh, computer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game here. Start us off in the library, approach the desk, and use the game book to look at the uh, opening video, which kind of gives us a little bit of a background. As you know, this game is a sequel to The Seventh Guest. Hey, yeah, dead guy, great. State police have called off the intense search for producer Robin Morales of television's Case Unsolved. Morales was researching a story about the famed haunted house in the small town of Harley on Hudson, the abandoned mansion of Henry Stauff. Police have expressed concern that Morales' disappearance may be connected to a series of killings that have plagued the Hudson Valley this year. So well, far, people four try to text women and three recording. men have been victims fitting a pattern of homicide, and several others are missing. Robin Morales has been missing for more than three weeks and seems to have vanished without a trace. She's the producer for the very popular and flamboyant Case Unsolved reporter, Carl Denning. Hey, Denning is said to have been in seclusion in, in game, his country home in Connecticut since Morales' disappearance. It's rumored that the two became romantically involved while we're... And he doesn't want to listen to it anymore. Uh, if you played The Seventh Guest, it came with a little pamphlet or a little booklet called The Stuff Files about what happened after the events of the game. One of them briefly mentioned the, the disappearance of someone named Robin Morales. And they used that as the backbone for this game. Um, Alright, so he's got a delivery. Country home in Connecticut. Apparently knows where he is. Yeah, it looks like a little PDA. Carl, help hey. me, please! I can't get out. She can't get out. Such a tease. What is this? It's a game book. About it harder. Doesn't make any sense to us either. Oh, check your game book. Hey, it's the Staff Mansion. Even though in the Seventh Guest, the Staff Mansion was like on a cliff all by itself. Um, now it's in a field. All right. Well, you got to rescue the damsel in distress, don't you, guy? The original, the seventh guest took place. I want to say in like the 40s or 50s, uh, maybe in the 20s or 30s. I don't really know. Um, this game takes place in the modern time. Modern time being mid 90s, uh, which is when the game was made. All right. Let's get on the motorcycle. Go save the girl. He's gonna have a bunch of flashbacks along the way. Um, try not to talk too much during the dialogue. I have a rule about people I work with. Oh. Yeah, really? don't get involved. Oh. Uh huh. I have the same rule. Been thinking about breaking this rule. So am I. Some of the dialogue in this game is just god awful. 
Okay, they like each other. They want to get involved. Break the rule. We got it. Well, now they're making out. A bunch of extremely close shots. No idea where they are. I guess the back of the car, but who knows. Might, might as well be anywhere. Because we're zoomed in so close we have no frickin' idea. Oh, back to the motorcycle. So yeah, basically the game is going through the house, solving puzzles, trying to rescue this girl. I, uh, I thought you liked me. Uh -oh. I just can't go on like this. Oh. People, everyone's saying that I slept with you to become your producer. <laughs> well, didn't you? Nice. I can't believe you just said that. You of all people. I'm a Make good a producer. Robin, you're good at a lot of things. Like being a producer. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I tell you what, Ms. Morales, I'll just see you in the office on Monday. No, I'll be in Hardy on Hudson next week. That's where the staff mansion is. <laughs> Listen, forget it. Maybe if I'm lucky, you'll just become one of the missing people in Harley. Oh, Don't bastard. say that. It scares me. I already did. Oh, and look, she's missing. Ah, oh, doesn't he feel like a jerk right about now? On his motorcycle. Ah, oh, it's getting darker. All right, yeah, go through, solve puzzles, try to find the girl. Of course, in the first game, you're going through the house solving puzzles, trying to figure out what the heck was going on. First game, he invited six people to his house to, um. Well, they basically just promised one of them all their dreams would come true. Uh, they all ended up dying. I'm so pretty sure they all ended up dying. And, um. Stop just disappeared, was never seen or heard from again. The concept of the first game was a lot better than this one. I think this game was. better executed, though. At least the story had some sort of direction, and the video quality was a lot better. Alright. Because, of course, it just... Haunted house in the middle of the night. There's no chance she'll make it through the night on her own. You just wait till tomorrow when it's daylight out. But I guess these games wouldn't be quite the same if they took place during the day. Um, I want to say this game starts off at 7 o'clock. The time of day is 7 o'clock, and as you go through, it gets closer, and then I think the final action takes place right before midnight. No, I can't get in. Drove all that way for nothing. There's no chance he'd, like, get in touch... Oh, the thing's beeping. No chance he'd want to get in touch with the police or anything, right? Missing person, he gets that dropped off. I'm nice is a good rap number. Even you can figure that out, can he? Three. Three. Rap three times, knock three times. Can do that. Oh. It's a little out of sync, but the door opens. I just creeped out. Breaks out his mag light. That's not a mag light, it's probably like a little. Probably a production assistant had to go and pick that up for five bucks from a hardware store. And we're in the house. Alright, that's the end of the intro movie. Um, pick this up next time. And we're beeping. We're going to start with the game.